Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to do this video today. I decided back in December to start documenting some of my reselling journey. I already have the channel and you know, why not? It's kind of become my, my side gig, my little hobby and it pays me. So I love watching YouTube videos, full-time resellers, part-time resellers. And for me, seeing what sold videos really, really is what took my business to the next level because I learned brands I'd never heard of, brands I know I have seen at the thrift store, kind of understanding cost of goods. And I sold on eBay years and years ago, about three years now, I started reselling part-time, like constantly just on Kitizen, just because I have three kids and I wanted to get a great deal. And I've definitely learned what not to buy and how much to spend. You know, I think if you're a reseller and you're watching this, you can think back to when you started picking up items to flip and, oh my gosh, I would pick up Carter's or Gymboree or cause it was cute or Gap and you just kind of learn, right? And everybody has different, a different profit margin they're looking for. For me being that this is simply my play money. Most of the money I make from reselling goes back into, that's how I dress my kids and you know, any fun things that we do. So my, I am happy to flip an item and make $10. That's worth it to me. But again, this is part-time for me. My full-time job is also from home. So I feel I do have maybe more daylight hours to take photos and I kind of can set my schedule. So keep that in mind. But I didn't know, I decided at the beginning of January, maybe I'll do a what sold video later, but I don't have the numbers to be doing them. Uh, like some people can do them daily or even every two days and, and hold up the physical item. I don't have those kind of numbers and I really wasn't sure how many sales I would have for the month of January. So I've got my numbers here. I'm going to pop up the items on the screen. We're going to do a screen share. I know that's kind of boring ish rather than me holding the actual item. So I appreciate if this is helpful to you and you stick with me to the end. So I've got the items. I'm going to let you know where I got them, how much I paid and uh, what I profited on, on the items. And um, at the end, I will give you my total numbers. Spoiler alert was in the title, but I did profit over a thousand dollars in the month of January. So again, not these huge five figure numbers. Um, I make that at the real job. So for a side hustle, to make an extra thousand dollars, yay. So, and I would not have been able to make several of these sales if not for fellow YouTubers out there sharing brands that I had never heard of. So thank you guys. Now let's just jump in. All right. Okay, I am sharing my screen now and we are, let me move this little guy out of the way. We're just going to go through line by line and I have them in order basically from the beginning of the month through the end of the month. Okay. So this first item, Matilda Jane, definitely recommend picking this up. I did purchase this at once upon a child for $6. What I love about Mercari, it's going to show you what it actually sold for. Um, so I profited $18 on this item. Next, I was surprised this sold on January the 3rd. It's a Christmas tank. But I picked this up at Goodwill for $3 and it sold on Poshmark for 15 and I made nine bucks. I actually bought this for myself and I didn't really have a fit. So. These uh, Sorrel boots, I got it once upon a child. I did pay $8.50 for these because I'm in Florida. I don't really sell a lot of boots. Doesn't snow here, but I know this is a good brand to pick up. And these did sell for $40 uh, with a profit of 24. This was, I think, the only retail arbitrage item I've got here. I did pick these up at Marshall's. I know Dekine is a good brand. Uh, paid 20 bucks for these, knowing, you know, it was kind of a risk. And I'd already told myself, okay, if these don't sell in the next 20 days, I'm going to return them with my receipt and just say it was a loss. But they actually sold within five days of listing. And they sold for $45. So I profited 16 bucks. So for me... I look at it like I ran into Marshall's that day. I picked up this and a couple of Ray Dunn mugs. Yes, I know, join the club. And so selling this was like I got my mugs for free. So that's a win to me. This is a Janssen bathing suit. I got this at Goodwill for $4. I thought it was cute. I actually planned on keeping this, but I decided to list it in case it didn't sell before summer. I would keep it, but it sold for 25 bucks. I made 16. Over to Mercari. I 
sold this uh, Chasing Fireflies dress. Now, $0 cost of goods because it was given to me. Chasing Fireflies is very expensive, but super cute. Don't go down the rabbit hole unless you plan on spending money, but they make very good quality costumes as well as regular clothes. I didn't know they had regular clothes until the catalog started showing up at my house. But these, this sold for $59 on uh, Mercari. They even paid the $11 shipping. I have not converted my listings over to the new $7.99 shipping simply because I don't have a UPS or I think FedEx, whatever the new one is. I don't have one of those next to me and for convenience for me. I want to just pop it in my mailbox and I'm still making sales this way. So unless someone messages me and asks me to switch it, then I'll dig deeper into it. But $51 profit on this item. So that was pretty great. This is a Disney Parks jersey. You will find, if you've watched any of my other videos, being that I live in Orlando, I sell a lot of Disney items. I'm wearing a Disney shirt. It's just kind of part of what I do. And this is a Disney jersey. Jerseys are expensive, y'all. This retailed for like $60, and the adult ones are even more. It's crazy. Anyway, I paid $5 for this at a local um, sale, and um, they paid $31 plus shipping. I made $21. I got this at the same sale. I paid 25 cents and they paid nine. I made 729. Super cute little newborn ears. All right, these croc sandals, I have a dollar into them from that same big sale that I go to and they sold for 14. I made 1089. Crocs, y'all, crocs sell fast for me and I can count on making 15 to $20 every single time, even if they show wear. People love their Crocs and I didn't realize how expensive they are until I took the time to go to the Crocs website and I'm like, dang, no wonder these sell so fast. They're not my style. I don't particularly wear them, but people love them. All right, Mini Melissa, pick this brand up. I paid $4 for these at Once Upon a Child, sold them for 23, made 15.73. And I will note, these are a toddler size seven, so they are a smaller size, but Size 8, 9, 10, those are the top sellers for me, and you can get more for those as well. Mini Melissa's are what got me into reselling again. Like I said, I paid my way through college back in the early 2000s on eBay, and you will notice I have no eBay sales. I do cross-post some things there, but it's just not working for me because I don't spend the most time there. So, all right, next are these Sperry Boat Shoes. I actually bought these for my son. He hated them. I paid $4. Um, they sold for 18 and I made 11.38. These bears, I have $0 cost of goods because they were given to my kids at some point. They sold for nine, I made 7.54. Happy with that. This My Little Pony was a gift for one of my girls at some point, so no cost of goods. Sold for 15, I made 12.76. Same, uh, this actually, I picked up at Target. They do this huge toy clearance every year where they've got like massive discounts. I keep, I've got three kids. That means a lot of birthday parties. So I keep stuff in a, a, a gift bin. This has a battery in it. And I was worried that if I kept it too much longer, the battery would die. So I did pay $2 for it. I still had the Target clearance sticker on it. It sold for 14. I made 9.89. Now we're gonna head over to Kitizen, which is actually where I made the most sales. I'll break down my numbers for you. Um, I love Kitizen and I know a lot of resellers aren't on there, but a lot of you guys don't know, it's not just kids clothes anymore. About two years ago, you can sell women's clothing, shoes and accessories. They've got a toggle button where you can push your items to the Facebook marketplace for no additional cost. So that's double the eyes on your items. And it's where I made the most sales this month. And I did purchase list perfectly this month, best decision ever. And I've got a coupon code for that. And um, so I would say that I had equal chances on all platforms with these same items and Kitizen still won. So, all right, these, um, I purchased these, some items I'm gonna tell you, I have a, a no cost of good because if I purchased them more than three years ago, uh, for personal use for my kids, I'm just not counting those numbers. My kids never ended up wearing these, but uh, they did sell for 20. So on Kitizen, disclaimer, the screen that I have to show you on the computer shows what I listed it for. I do send offers when people put items in their cart. So I will tell you what it sold for. And that means I sent an offer on Kitizen, unless someone messages you asking you to send an offer, which for me doesn't happen often. So if the price doesn't match what I say, that's because that's how much of an offer I sent them. 
So these sold for $20 and I made $13.71. This Bowden polo. This is one of those things that sat for a little while because I picked this up when I was new to deciding to buy things specifically to flip and I was a little brat bull. Oh my gosh, I can't speak brand blinded where, oh my gosh, mini Bowden, that's a great brand. It is, but this had a lot of wash wear. It still did indeed sell for $15, but just a, a side note, if you're newer to the reselling game, don't pick things up just because of the brand. I think we've all made that mistake. So I made $6 and 30 cents. These I bought for my son. He wore them. I paid $4 at Once Upon a Child, which if you don't have that, it's like a Plato's Closet consignment. People go there, they get money for their items, not a lot of money, and then they sell them for cheap and I buy them. All right, so these sold for $26 full price and I made $13.98 after, and I love that I'm selling items that my kids are wearing. This is kind of what got me here. Um, so if you've got kids, reselling should be for you, which is probably why you're watching this. This was a gift. This was actually a, um, my la my daughter is about to turn six. This was a baby shower gift for her that I have kept in a baby shower bin for me to give to people. And decided to finally clean that out because most of my friends are done having babies. So this sold for $10 and I made $4.91. Not bad for Carter's, which is very cheap anyway. This was a good sale. I picked these up at Once Upon a Child for $4. They sold for $44. And I made $30 and 83 cents. These I purchased as part of a bundle. A lot of times shops on Kidism will offer say 20% off two or 15% off two. I find something that I want for myself or my kids and pick out something else that I know I can turn around and flip and make back some of the money for what I actually wanted and make that cheaper. So I paid $2 for these. They sold for $16.75. I made $8.85. All right, this next one's gonna look a little weird because it was a bundle sale and I have no way to, unless I click on each one, I'm just going to break it down based on the numbers you see here. The top two, these are pajamas I bought at Aldi for my kids. They wore them once on, we took our little road trip. It was cute. I took some cute photos. This pandemonium dress, I did pay $2 at Goodwill forever ago. Happy to see this go, which is why they put three items in their cart. I sent a $14 offer because I'm like, please, for the love, take these things. This was on January the 9th. Christmas pajamas, yes, I did not want to hold on to them for a whole another year. I doubt I even paid that to begin with. So I, all in all, profit or I made $22, you know, minus my $2 cost of goods. Um, I probably profited about $6 on that. The way I do it on my spreadsheet, I actually, um, just divided it by three items and made that my cost of goods and anyway so all right like these Livy and, Lu Livy and Luca a wonderful brand to pick up even if they're in play condition they will sell I got these at a local thrift store for two dollars they sold for 16.50 and I made 8.63 Zara you know Zara for women I I you know it's hit or miss but Zara for kids definitely will sell I did pay a dollar 49 for this it had a ton of attention. I ended up having to relist it and it did sell quickly after I relisted it for $15. I made $7.82. This next thing, I was shocked that it sold. So you'll see I have shipping separated. Disclaimer, the kid is in community wants free shipping. So if you do list on there, shipping's never free, you know? So just add in your shipping to the price, okay? So Anyway, uh, that's what you need to do on Kitizen or else you won't make as many sales. Just there's been tons of chats about it. So this item, I have shipping separated because I considered it an add-on item. Like it's a really crappy item. The only reason I listed it, that's not crappy if you bought it. I'm sure your little will love it. Crappy item for me, meaning this came in my thread up girls clothing rescue box and cost of goods broke down to $2.00. It is like a knockoff Bowdoin dress and it definitely had wash wear. It didn't have a, a proper size tag. So I thought someone might want to add this on. So that's why I said add on. If you add this to another item, I will remove the shipping cost. I wanted to do that because they do have a bundle option on Kitizen. However, if you click that button, your items will not push over to Facebook marketplace, which I want them all to. So anyway, someone actually decided to buy this item on its own. So therefore they paid the shipping. I was very happy to have made a dollar and two cents profit on an item out of that thread up girls rescue box. That box was pretty awful. I will never buy another one of those. 
All right, these Janie and Jack crib shoes, I paid a dollar for, sold for 16, I made 9.19 profit. Typically I wouldn't purchase newborn items, but these were, one of them still had the tag with them. They're newborn size, they look brand new, could have been used for a shower gift. And Janie and Jack is very expensive retail, um, and it just doesn't resell for a lot, unfortunately, but those weighed nothing. Oh, this one, I don't know why I didn't open it bigger for you. Sorry about that. So these are some Disney Frozen Magic Bandits. They go on your Magic Bands to go to the parks. Um, these I paid 25 cents for, and they sold for, what did they sell for? $12. I made $6.67. So that was a pretty great sale. Six bucks off of a quarter. All right, this Zara baby sweater. This was another retail arbitrage. I picked this up at Marshall's for $6 and it sold for $20. I made 11. These, thank goodness, I finally sold one pair of shoes from a terrible thread up rescue boxes. Get me, I love me a good mystery. Sometimes they're good. I just got one delivered. So that'll be another video coming this week. But anyway, these I was happy to sell for $18 and profit $9.38. These um, were my mom's, so zero cost of goods. Uh, I made $17.99 profit. This was a good sale, and this is what made me realize how important cross posting is. Guys, you need to get lists perfectly and take the time. I cross post, this was one of the oldest items I had listed in my kittens and shop, and cross posted them to Poshmark. They sold overnight. And they sold for my full asking price of $49. I made $34.20. I have $5 into these. The reason I even, I posted them high. They're women's size five. My daughter is in a like girl size one, but she would love these. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to price them really high They're in my inventory. If I end up hanging on to them until she's old enough to wear them by then she might hate whatever. Um, so that's the only reason I priced them high. I kind of didn't want them to sell, but I am not sad about it. All right, this Zara sweatshirt, I got it once upon a child for $3. Sold for $16, I made $7.68. These Native, another great brand to always pick up. Um, oh, I do see that I forgot to show you guys one thing I sold. They were a pair of um, Crocs purple ballet flats. Women, ladies, size nine. Um, those, I paid $3. They sold for $15, I profited nine. All right, so these I did pay $3 at Once Upon a Child. I made $11.40. These Keen sandals sold for full price. I paid $4 and I made $16. Back over to Mercari. This was a great sale. These sold um, in literally hours after I listed them. Uh, I paid $6, so I did pay up for them just because I they are still for sale on the, a different colorway on the Nordstrom website. So I knew they would sell. They sold for my full asking price of $40. I made $28. This next one was a terrible buy. Again, blind branded. Oh my gosh, I found Jack Rogers at, Merc at, at uh, Goodwill. It wasn't until I got them home and looked at them. I don't even think they are the, I don't know. One of them is furry. One of them was not. And that, so it's almost like they were two different shoes. I don't know. I disclosed it. Thank goodness they sold. I did pay $6 for them because I thought they were fantastic in the store until I got home. So I did still profit $11. That was a save. All right, these Birkenstocks, this was a good find. I paid $6 at Goodwill. I used a little bit of Doc Martens Wonder Balls on them. They looked great. Uh, comps were great. These cost over $100 new. They sold, um, I went back and forth with somebody and they did sell for $58. I profited 40. They were a size uh, five and a half in women's. So that's why I was willing to take, I think I listed them at 70 or 80, but being a small size, I knew it would take longer to sell. So I took the offer. This item, um, I have $0 for my cost of goods. It is a, I bought this for my daughter uh, years ago at this point. So that money is long not accounted for. So I made a profit of $36. These I purchased for my son. He wore them. I actually got them on clearance from the Bowdoin website for $19. They sold for $19, even with wash wear. So it shows me having a negative $3, but again, I, I want to be real in my numbers for myself but I purchased these for my son. He wore them and then I sold them, you know? So it's not to me that it makes up for 
a profit of $3 on another item. So it's basically like my son wore pajamas for free. That's how I look at it because again, this isn't the money that is paying my bills. So it's a little different for everyone. This piano bag I purchased on Amazon for $7.99 for my son to use for piano. I, did, I clearly don't look at measurements. It was giant, way too big for what I needed it for. So it did sell for $12, buyer paid shipping. So I profited $2 because I waited too long to send it back to Amazon. So that was a win. Back over to Kitizen. Remember, it's going to show you um, what I had it listed for. Some of them I did send offers. This I have $1.49 into, sold for $12.50. I made $4.52. Natives, these sold for my full asking price. I have $0 into them. I purchased them for my daughter a long time before she even got in the size. She wore them many times. I profited $16. These shoes, I paid a dollar at Goodwill. They sold for 19, I made 9.89. Keens, um, if you're seeing a theme here, I don't know if it, Keens are a wonderful pickup for kids, adults, boys, girls, tiny, big, pick them up. I paid $5 for these. They sold for my full asking price of 26, I made 12.32. This was a funny sale. Um, I made two sales uh, the same day and I thought I messed up. You'll see why I paid $2 for these. They sold for $16. I made a profit of $8.19. Right after this one, like an hour later, I sold these. Guys, you see these two pictures? I was like, oh my gosh, should I sell this? They are different. One's a size nine, one's a size 10. Uh, these I paid $3 for at Goodwill. They sold for $16.50. So I got an extra 50 cents out of these. Um, but my cost of goods was higher. So I made $7.63. These Western Chief uh, were a bins purchase. I just recently started going to the bins, so I have 56 cents into them. They sold for $22. I, um, this is Kitizen, so shipping, it seems like my cost of goods or my uh, total profit on my Kitizen items is much lower because remember, it's selling for free shipping. So uh, you have to take out the shipping. This did have to go in a padded flat rate. So I profited $11. This vintage Girl Scouts shirt, I thought this was just really fun. Uh, I paid $1.75. It sold within a few hours of listing it for $16.50, and I made $8.88. This is another bundle item. This is why it looks like this for you. Um, the Peeps Bunny Slippers, I actually got in my Thread Up Rescue box, the girls' box. I did not expect them to sell. I have $2 into those. And this Younglin dress I bought for my daughter years and years and years ago. So I made $14.59, so I profited $12.59 on this. So that was great. These Converse, I actually bought for my son um, like a couple years ago at this point. I even, uh, they didn't, I got them at Goodwill, cleaned them up. They didn't have laces. I bought those laces off Amazon. I love those, by the way. You can get them on Amazon for so cheap multi-packs of the uh, stretchy rubber laces to replace. So this was just pure profit of $14.33. I will say be careful with Converse. Once you hit a uh, kid size 13, you're going to have to ship them in padded flat rate envelopes. All right, salt water is always a good pickup. I wasn't sure about these because they are a big kid size four or lady size six. I did list them under the kid size. Took a while, but they did sell on Kitizen for $32. I profited $18.60. I paid $4 once upon a child. I did not take that. This was a wonderful sale. If you watched one of my haul videos recently, I picked these up. I picked one up to sell, a medium, and a medium for me to keep. I did pay $10 for this, and my goal was to at least flip this one for enough money that I could keep mine for free. This is how my mind works, you guys. So after shipping it out in a flat rate envelope and all the fees and everything, I profited $24.57. So if you take out the $10 I paid for the one I kept, I still made a bonus profit of $14.57. So I love when that happens. All right, these I um, purchased years ago, again, for my daughter. She wore them and then they kind of found their way in a wrong size bin. I don't know. So they sold for $22.50. This is a great style of Crocs to pick up. They're so easy to clean. I throw them in the sink with a magic eraser and blue Dawn dish soap and they just come out so good. I do, I do enjoy cleaning shoes. If you've watched my videos, you know this, so I don't mind taking the time to clean up shoes. So I made a profit of $14.24. This, I was so happy to see it go. I, vintage does sell. But this was a size zero. It was like a three-month size. So definitely would not pick up 
tiny items like that again because it, it took forever. I paid $1.49. It sold for a, an offer of $12 and I made $5.18. Back over to Mercari. I paid $2.99 for these. My daughter wore them several times. I made a profit of $9.77. This, my friends, was by far the best sale I had in the month of January. This is a Johnny Was dress. Again, thank you, YouTube. I had never heard of this brand. I am wearing a Disney Parks shirt and some Vineyard Vines uh, pajama pants right now. I do not wear beautiful clothes like this on the regular. I will get dressed up, and but usually that means putting on a Lily dress. So never would have picked this up. And I paid at Goodwill $7.49. Guys, this had a hole in it. I didn't see it at the store. I would have bought it anyway. I disclosed it, took lots of photos of it. I got wonderful feedback, a rating for this. Um, I profited a, it sold for my full asking price and I profited $121.99. And I'm so glad I, I listed it in the evening. I cross posted it. I woke up in the morning to an offer of $70 on Poshmark and I almost accepted it because I was like, you know what, it has a hole and I just want to make sure it goes. I only have $7 into it. Thank goodness. I, I don't know why I didn't accept it at that moment. I was still laying in bed. I got up, made my coffee. And by the time I went to come sit down to pull items to cross post, someone had purchased this full price on Mercari. So $122 profit. Fantastic. Back over on Posh, another, I never would have heard of this brand if it wasn't for uh, my good friend, Kathy, over at Ginger Marvin. Make sure you're following her. She teaches me so much. Um, Hoka, I don't know. The, I don't think these are cute. I tried them on, but I guess they're running shoes. I don't know, but I did pay up for these because she has such, such success selling them. I did pay $15 for them, but they sold for $55. I can't remember. I think that was an offer I got, but it was only a couple dollars off what I listed them for. So I made a profit of $29. I was happy to see that. All right, back over here on Mercari. This no cost of goods. I bought this years ago at one of the Disney resorts when I went to hang out with some family, forgot a bathing suit, loved it. It was when, what I consider like play condition for pilling um, and it still sold and they paid shipping. So I still, I made a profit of $5.80. This is something, this is a wonderful brand, Kite Organics. Again, I did pick this up because it was in new without tag condition. I was going to use it in part of a baby shower cake thing. Ended up didn't. It was listed forever on Kittizen. Cross posted it, sold it, um, but it took a while. And um, I made a profit of $11.27. All right, these I bought for my son. So years ago, I picked them up probably on clearance. I, there is no way I paid $12 for them in the first place. They're from the children's place, but they sold for my full asking price of $12 plus shipping. I made a profit of $10 and 15 cents. Another vintage item I did pay. This is a bigger size, uh, cross posted this one. You'll see, I posted this on the 28th and it sold on the 29th. So, and I had had this listed on Kittizen for probably two years. So again, I'm um, just saying, use my 15% off code, sign up for this perfectly, give it a month, guys, and if you don't see a difference, I bet you will. Okay, so this I um, sold for $18. I made a profit of $13.89. Back over on Kittizen. Um, I sold this swim diaper. I bought this Year, five years ago. I don't know. So no cost of goods for me. I and didn't buy this for my daughter. We ended up not using it. Made a profit of $4.91. These books, um, I have no money into them um, because I think my mom bought them for my son and uh, they sold for $15.75 to my friend and um, I made a profit of $9.84. This was another bundle sale. This dress I have had listed forever, I think. And I did just recently cross post it and relisted it on Kittizen. It sold as part of a bundle. Um, let's see what this says. Um, it says that I made 1666 and uh, I have $1.75 into the tank. So pretty great profit there. This Little Mermaid came out of my closet, bought it forever ago. And so I profited $5 and 79 cents. Same with this. This is from, from back when I used to run, which 
was a long time ago. So I was happy to see this go. I sent an offer of $10 and made $4.91. And my last sale of the month, this Pottery Barn Kids Star Wars pajamas. I did pay $3.49 for these at Goodwill. They were my son's size. He just isn't a pajama kid at this point because he's I'm hot, whatever. So I just listed them. Um, they sold quickly. I listed these um, just like the day before they sold for my full asking price of $23. I made $11.85. Okay, so I am going to attempt to edit this video. I've not done any video editing yet, so maybe I'll put some numbers somewhere around here. If I'm not able to figure that out, I'm just going to read them to you also. So the month of January, I had a total of 72 sales and that broke down to 37 sales on Kittison, 13 sales on Poshmark and 22 sales on Mercari. So I feel like that was a pretty great month. I posted, I would say about a hundred new items total. Uh, I started off the year just being a little under the weather, not feeling well, not doing much. I do not, I will tell you, I do not share my Poshmark closet. Uh, all I did over there was list new items, cross post items. I did uh, get lists perfectly about halfway through the month. And I've got a little tutorial video on that, a screen share showing you exactly how easy it is. I wish I had known. So you can check that video out. Um, and Mercari, uh, it's just kind of, it came in second, you know, but I, I hear bad things about Mercari, just like, scammers or whatever. Like I haven't had that experience. And honestly, I make a lot of full price sales. I do not, I do not send offers out on Mercari simply because then every time you send an offer out, it just lowers the price and whatever. I do accept a lot of offers on Mercari. I don't do a lot of, um, going back and forth with people. You know, I don't get a lot of low ball offers and I know a lot of people have mentioned they do. I just, that hasn't been my experience. So all in all, my gross sales for the month was $1,647.34. I netted $1,244.38. And that gave me a profit of $1,005.90. So if you do that math, um, I spent total on those 72 items, $238. And... Yeah, so I turned $238 into $1,006. So I think that's a pretty great month. I would say if I actually took more time, I have got hundreds of items that I need to list. I am giving myself a goal for the rest of February, as hard as it might be. I don't want to do very many thrift trips, even though that is my stress relief, my joy. I might go to the bins one or two more times, but as far as regular Goodwills, I'm going to stay up out of there until I get, and I'm no longer going to use the word death pile. We're going to call it my money pile. And until I can get through that, I need to stay my behind home taking pictures. And, you know, this month, my personal business, my real job is very much busy. So, but I am going to try to devote a little more time and I am a numbers person. So now that I know that I profited a thousand dollars, my goal for this year is to increase that number every single month. Um, I'm not saying double it or whatever. I know I have had months uh, where just on Kitizen, I think last summer there was a couple of months I profited or, or I sold $2,000 worth of things. I wasn't doing numbers then. I, I have no idea what my cost of goods and all that was. So thank you guys for following along. No idea how long this ended up being. I hope not too long, but I hope you will subscribe. I hope you will stay. Uh, again, this is my, my reselling on the side job. So every now and then you might see a video that's related to my my real job. So if that doesn't interest you, you can just skip on by those, but I will continue putting up reseller content, content, what sold, uh, hauls. I love unboxings. I actually have a box coming today from We Bargains. And so I'm going to try to get that up soon. I'm really excited that I am going to unbox that for you. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you learned a new brand or two. And if you have any questions, let me know until next time. Bye guys.